Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Flappy Bird-like game in Scratch. I'm going to show you how to make a Flappy Bird-like game in Scratch. You'll be able to add jumping, sounds, and even scoring in your game. Plus, you can customize it to whatever you want. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a bird as our first sprite. So delete the cat, and then we need to get a bird sprite. So you can choose a bird sprite from the library, or you can paint your own sprite or upload if you have a flappy bird that you want to upload. But I am going to choose one from the library. But one thing's for sure. Something tells me that this penguin ain't gonna fly. Once we've selected our bird, let's go to the costumes library and edit our costumes. Great. Let's start with the code. I'm going to drag out a one green flight click block, and then let's set the position to negative 130 and 80. Let's also set the size to 50%. Depending on what sprite you use, you may want to adjust this size. Now when we click the green flag, the bird goes to the set position. Great! Let's use gravity now. Gravity works like this. We start by having the bird go down by a certain number, let's say 1. But we also change how far we go down. So the next frame, we go down by 2, and then 3, and then 4. When we want to go up, we just set gravity to like 5. So we start by going up 5, and then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1, and then we head back down. Okay, let's get this to work. Drag out a forever block from control. And then an if-then block. Drag out a key space pressed block. Let's create a new variable and call it gravity. Let's also delete the my variable variable, and then set gravity to zero at the beginning of the game. If key space pressed, then let's set gravity to 10. Otherwise, let's change gravity by negative 1. Then, in motion, drag out a change y block. Then in variables, drag out gravity. Now when we click the green flag, we can use the space bar to make the bird fly. Great! Let's also uncheck the gravity variable. Now, you might notice that when we press and hold the space bar, the bird goes up. That's not a feature that we want to have. Create a new variable called pressing space. And select OK. Drag another if-then block right here, so that set gravity to 10 is in the first one. Then in operators, drag out an equals block. In variables, drag out a pressing space block. Type in 0. If this is true, then we want to set pressing space to 1, because we are pressing space. Otherwise, if we are already pressing space, then we need to run this code again. So duplicate and place right there. Then over here, drag out a set pressing space to zero block. If you've done all this correctly, when you click the green flag, you shouldn't be able to press and hold space. Great! Let's finally, at the beginning, drag out a set variable and set pressing space to zero, just to make sure the game doesn't break because we're pressing holding space when we stop the game. Also, in the original Flappy Bird, you've also noticed that the bird might move its body. So let's do that. Go to the motion, and then point in direction 90 block, set it right about here. And let's set it to about 60. Then, when we're pressing space, let's drag out a point in direction 90 block and set it to 60 again. Now, drag out an if-then block to the side. Use an operator's block and drag out this one. Then drag out a direction block right here and set this to 130. And then, Drag out a churn clockwise 15 degrees and change it to 3. Duplicate it so it goes right here and right here. Done all this correctly, when we click the green flag, we can see the bird churn its body. Great! Quickly, I'm going to go to the variable section and then uncheck this box. Great! Next, let's create our pipes. Hover the blue choose a sprite button and select paint. I'm going to use a green fill and a black outline with 4. Select the square tool, and then create a rectangle like this. I'm going to center this, and then press and hold up, so it goes all the way up, right about here. I'm actually going to zoom out, and then place the pipe so it touches the edge, and maybe move it a bit like this, so there's enough room. Then create another rectangle and then make it 
like this. Place it right about here. And then try to center it on this pipe. I'm actually gonna just a little bit and that looks great. Then select both of this pipe, group it, and then control copy, control paste. And then I'm gonna center it so both are on top of each other. Then I'm going to select flip vertical and then drag it down by pressing the down arrow. When creating these pipes, make sure there's enough room for the bird to go through, but not too tight where the game becomes impossible, but not too much where it's really easy for the bird to get in. I'm actually going to adjust this pipe a little bit. There we go. That looks great. Next, let's go to the code. When we click the green flag, let's hide the original sprite so we can make clones. Then, drag out a control forever block. Wait two seconds, and then create a clone of myself. When I start as a clone, let's set our position to about an X of 240, and then a Y between negative 70 and 70. Let's also show the clone. Then drag out a forever block. Then change X by negative 5. If we're touching the left edge, meaning that our X is less than negative 240, then let's delete this clone. Now when we click the green flag, we can have the bird flap through pipes that appear on the screen. Great. Now we need to have this toucan booze when it either touches the bottom edge or it hits a pipe. Go back to the toucan, then drag an if then block on the bottom. Grab an or block. If our x position is less than, let's say, about negative 130, or if we're touching a pipe, then we should call a new message called game over. For now, let's drag out a, another when I receive block, set it to game over, and then stop all. We'll edit this block later to make it better. Now when we click the green flag, well, it looks like our bird didn't booze right away. Okay, that's interesting. Guys, it's time for a spot the bug. Can you spot which bug is currently bugging this program? If you said this X position block is the problem, then you're right. Drag it out and change it to Y position. So now when you click the green flag, we booze if we touch the edge, or we also booze if we hit a pipe. Great. Let's also go to Sprite 1 and rename this Pipes. We're technically done, but let's add some extra features to our game. The first thing, let's add a backdrop. Head over to the backdrop and then add a backdrop. I am going to use this blue sky, but I do not like this brown bar at the bottom. So I'm going to change it to a green. Great. Next, let's delete this empty backdrop and duplicate this blue sky. Let's have the text say game over with a nice bright red. Then let's go to the toucan's code. Let's remove this when I receive game over stop all block. Over in control, drag out a this script block. Quick note, if you add any other scripts into this sprite, make sure to drag out a stop all block, set it to other scripts in the sprite, and then drag it right here. Go to the pipes, and then, and then when I receive game over, let's stop other scripts in this sprite. Next, let's go to the stage. When the green flag is clicked, let's switch the backdrop to blue sky. But when I receive game over, we'll switch the backdrop to blue sky too. Now when we play the game, if we lose, we get a nice game over message. Great! Next, let's add scoring. We can even add a high score for anyone to try to beat. Click on make a variable and type in score. Create another variable and type in high score and select cloud variable. It's nice to note that you must have scratcher status in order to do this. You can check this on your profile page. 
click OK, and then ignore the warning. Let's first start by taking these two variables into a large readout. Go to the pipes, and when we delete this clone, change score by 1. Let's also set score to 0 at the beginning of the game. Over on the stage, use an if-then block right here. If score is greater than high score, then set high score to score. Now when we click the green flag, we can try to get a nice score. And if we beat the high score, then it changes. Great. Finally, let's add sound. Head over to the toucan and then click the sounds button. Let's import a new sound and I'm going to import jump. Over in the code, drag out a sound block. Put start sound jump when we jump. Now we hear a jump sound when we jump. Over in the pipes, go to the sounds and select coin. Start sound coin when we change the score by one and delete the clone. Over in the backdrops, go to sounds and select crunch. When the game is over, start sound crunch. Now we've added sounds to our game. Great. There are many ways you can change this game. Try experimenting around and see what you like. The truth is, there's many ways you can have fun with this project. So try adding many things to make this game unique. And if you want to share your remix, comment it down in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you like learning how to make your own video games, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. See ya.